Crest fighting out of the uh, blue uh, corner. Here's an MMA fighter fighting out of Marco and the head coach by Steve Walton. He officially weighed in at 57 kilograms. Here's a fight record, one fight for one win. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Frank Jankowski. And he's opponent of fighting out of the red corner. He's an MMA fighter trained at the MMA clinic by Ben Vickers. He officially weighed in at 56.7 kilograms with a fight record of three fights for three victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dassey Spowall. And we are back. We are back after a short commentary break. We have Darcy Spowall versus Frank Jaganowski from Mach 1. Darcy from the clinic. Darcy's 3-0, Jake. Tell me about Darcy. I know you've got a lot to say. Darcy is a workhorse. He's super flexible. He has great jiu-jitsu. He has great striking. Oh, big left hand there. He's calm, patient. One of my favorite people to train with. And uh, he's taking a big step up in competition here versus Frank. Yeah, Frank Frank uh, looks like a massive step up in competition from the lads he's Darcy's for previously. Um, a very, very, both the guys seem to be uh, both on that upward trajectory. Um, you know, in terms of their careers in, 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 in amateur martial arts. I'm really looking forward to seeing both of them over the years continuing to fight because they're both athletes, they're both technical, they're both aggressive, and, and, it, and this looks like it's going to be an absolute hell of a fight. They, have, they both have unlimited potential, which, again, the flyweight division is wide open, you know? One of my favourite divisions to watch. There's so much technical talent in this division. Darcy walking his high guard up, Frank stepping back, looking for that right hand, looking to take Darcy down again. Got his hands together, Darcy. he's looking for the trip. Darcy defends the trip, hold up. Darcy's slightly the longer individual here. Yeah, I'm hoping that range will come into play at some point during the fight. But also, also Frank looks supremely, supremely athletic. He looks like a man who can close distance quickly, who can land kicks from walking angles, and he gets the takedown, he's on top now. Yeah. Let's see what he can do from here. Darcy he... needs to get his guard back. He has a very active closed guard, so if he can get that guard back and start to work some submission attempts, he does tend to sometimes accept positions which we've been working on quite a lot, not accepting positions, because when he does not hesitate, he is lethal. Yeah. Frank looking for the high cross half guard at the moment in time, looking to just hold the position down, Darcy's feet up against the cage, looking to push away, either looking for a sweep or looking to turn over, give himself some room to go. Frank hasn't landed any significant strikes right now, but he's controlling the top, the top pressure control at the moment. He's, uh, he's, he's obviously giving them points with the judges. Yeah, uh, Darcy looking to take it back there, and there it is, that close guard. Again, very active close guard. When he walks his legs up, very good triangles, very good armbar transitions, and a very deadly guillotine too. But Frank, great posture, yeah, great Dar positioning. Darcy looking for a rubber guard there, but that was a failed attempt. As soon as Frank felt it, he postured up, and that's and that's where that, uh, Yeah, Darcy looking for an armbar there, but didn't get it. Up kick, up kick from Frank, looking for the finish. Takes Darcy down again. Good control, excellent control from Frank right now. Darcy, Darcy's looking for that armbar, looking to get it out, but Frank pulls it out again. And Frank's looking to let him stand up and land some strikes. Yeah, he's clever. He's he's taking his time. He's using his intelligence, which is what you want to see. Good takedown attempt. Excellent takedown by Frank again. I'm impressed by this. This is yeah, good. very technical, relentless pace too. Technical MMA, technical, technical. And he's attempt. just stepping out of that guard, not letting Darcy set anything up. Oh, I'm going to high kick off that. Probably just, wants to, pace. probably just wants to vary those attempts on the kicks as he's standing up. Because Darcy seems to be wise for it. Yeah. So maybe go to the body, maybe look for something a little bit different, just basically to catch him off guard. Because Darcy seems to have that, and that's round one over. We are underway. Darcy swinging for the fences there, looking for the big shot. And interestingly there, Frank actually closed his eyes there when he went in for the takedown, which was unusual. He's, he's been very, very clear, and now There's he gets another a quality trip takedown. Take that was a quality takedown, whereas the attempt before was a little bit a little bit haphazard, but that one was quality. And as is all of his takedown attempts in the first round were all quality. And now too. he's got the mount. Darcy has a good mount escape, but he needs to make sure he doesn't take any damage here. Um, Frank's looking to punish him here. Looking to punish him. So Darcy escapes from Mount, takes his back. And he, he, he is at risk of having his back taken right now. Looks to turn. Frank retakes mount. Starting to land strikes. 
And this is fantastic, Jake. I mean, how old are these two boys? Yeah, they're very young. Early 20s for sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's the future of Australian MMA yeah, right there. It's a future of us, yeah. A future Australian MMA without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, these two boys are athletic. They're technical. Oh, he's taken Darcy's back. His hands are beneath the chin. He's got the squeeze. He's got the squeeze in. Will Darcy head out? Dar I think he's out. He's, he's out. He's out. The fight's over. The fight's over. The fight's over. The fight's over. The fight is over. He went out. He went out about 10 seconds there. He was out right in front of us. The referee didn't notice immediately that he was out. Both, if you if you could see myself and Jake at ringside, we were both one minute and fifty-one seconds in round uh, number two. If you're winner by a ring, they get Jake out of the blue corner. Frank Jankowski.